Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Simply Roy. And kung bago ka lang dito sa channel na to, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more video updates. So ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang drawing plans. Some of my clients na nagpapadesign sila ng kanilang bahay, gusto nila ganito, ganyan. Roy, gusto ko na may game room. Roy, lagyan mo ng patio. Or pwede maglagay ka ng game? Pero pag pinikitaan mo ng plano, eh, hindi nila maiintindihan. Isa ka ba sa mga nalilito pag nakakita ng ganito? So ngayon, pag-uusapan natin is about floor plan. Based on the Visual Dictionary of Architecture by Francis Dickey Chin, Floor plan means a plan of a room, suite, or entire floor of a building as seen from above after a horizontal section is cut and the upper portion removed, typically showing the form and arrangement of interior spaces and their enclosing walls, windows, and doors. Okay, so for example, we have a 3D model dito. Tapos pag kinat natin to, no, horizontally, tapos... If you view natin siya from the top and then using parallel projection so makita natin ang floor plan uh, ang loob ng bahay no? so viewing from the top ito siya so ito ang floor plan ng building na to dimensions are usually drawn between the walls to specify room sizes and wall lengths. Floor plans may also include details of fixtures tulad ng sinks, water heaters, furnaces, and etc. Floor plans may include notes for construction to specify finishes, construction methods, or symbols for electrical items. So guys, I have here another example of floor plan. In the floor plan, marami kang makitang architectural symbols just like this one. So this one represents the door and then the curved line represents the door opening no? inward. In the living, this is rectangle here represents the center table, the, the sofa or the couch, the chairs. And in the dining, no? this we have here the dining table and then the chairs. And in the kitchen, no? this one, our kitchen counter. And this one, this one represents the stove or the range. And this one, the small rectangle, represents the kitchen sink. And this one here, represents the refrigerator or the ref. So, so again, this one represents the door opening, the door. In the bedroom, we have the single bed and we have the closet. Here, the toilet and bath, this one represents the lavatory. And this one represents the water closet. So, here... In the master's bedroom, we have the queen size bed. So we have the closet, and then in the master's bedroom, we have the den, no, or the mini office. Thicker line here represents the the wall, the wall division. So along with the thicker line, we have a fine line, no. So this one represents the windows, no, the window opening, and then this uh, little square, this one. This one represents the column or the post of the building. So, there's a lot of architectural symbols na makikita mo sa floor plan. And to add more knowledge about floor plans, you can search in the Google or YouTube para madagdagan natin ang ating kalaman about floor plans. Para pag nagpapadesign tayo ng bahay tapos pinapakitaan tayo ni architect or ni engineer ng plans, alam na natin, meron na tayong idea to read a plan, no? a floor plan. So hopefully nakatulong ang video na to to simplify things no? about floor plans. And for our first activity, our first play, make a floor plan of your dream house. So once again, this is Roy for your plans and designs. Get a professionals. Peace.